Holomisa has expressed concerns that a select few seem to have easy access to PIC funds. He has listed transactions and people that he asked the commission to look into. The UDM leader says former CEO Dr. Dan Majila and Roy Raja seem ever willing to fund Lawrence Malawzi's companies. Malawzi is the businessman that Majila is said to have asked to assist Pretty Law, a woman that was alleged to be Majila's girlfriend when her business was in trouble. Holomisa says companies Herith, Lebashe and Pan-African Infrastructure Development Fund got funds from the PIC. The companies have links to former Deputy Finance Minister and Chair of PIC Jabumule Gedi and Tepo Mashwele, former PIC Head of Corporate Investment. The role of Mashwele and the Jabumule Gedi as former PIC operatives, it would appear they have gone out to create an empire as you will see in my submission, where they are involved. And I hope that uh, they will be given an opportunity to clarify these uh, issues. But more importantly, is to see that there seems to be a conflict of interest here. Because later on, they get monies from PIC as and when they want to uh, to extend their, their businesses. Holomisa has asked President Cyril Ramaphosa to give the commission more time to complete its work as well as more people with expertise to dig as deep as it needs to to expose what he calls the rot at the PIC. Mr. President, we need to dig deeper. The crisis is, is, is deep and therefore we need to have expertise in this field. He, otherwise, if he doesn't do that, this would be a fruitless exercise. The Commission of Inquiry has agenda until Monday the 25th of March. Meanwhile, IOTechnology, PIC and CIPC will again meet in the North Gauteng High Court on Monday after judgment was reserved in the compliance notice matter. IOTechnology and PIC are separately seeking to set aside the CIPC compliance notice to recoup the 4.3 billion invested in IOTechnology with interest. IO also seeks to interdict the PIC from complying with the notice. Jurassic Fakomusi, SABC News, Pretoria.